Okay, so this is a straight on view of the wall with the leak. And as we get closer, I want you to see what's going on right there. That's pretty ugly, huh? And so then, oh yeah, here comes a light shining by Steve. See, there's a big ass icicle right there. And that um, crack goes all the way over to here. And then you can see the window's kind of gushy right there. And uh, check out the light over the sink. Can you see how it's dripping right now? There's also a crack right there. And uh, anyways, so that's what we got. Um, also, I'm gonna, oh, Steve wants me to show you down the side of the window right there. And uh, right now we're sogging everything up with towels, but here's the other side of the window. And, uh, whoops, got the camera wet. <laughs> And so that window's about to pop out. Um, and then also, here's the cabinetry on the side. And you can see how that's all water damaged. And it's gone through around to here. And water damage there. Now we'll go outside. This is the ice dam. Right above above the gutter and the downspout which are right above that window where all the damage is inside and I believe that some of the water and ice are building up not only going underneath the roof shingles but underneath the siding Those cables are for our satellite TV and then I have a heat tape that we usually put on that downspout to keep it from freezing. But this year with the freezing rain and the cold, cold temperatures, it just couldn't keep up. So, but that's all the damage and all the water. You can see the stains on the siding on the opposite side of that window where all the water and ice have been running down. I went through last this last summer and resealed everything really, really well, but it just didn't hold up. But that's what we're going to need to fix in that entire section inside the house.